Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm very excited to bring you the preview of Metrics version 2. It is just about to be released and I want to show you some of the new functionality that's been built into the app. So let's dive in and take a look. You can already see that I have the main home screen open. What is this app? This app is basically you can paste your wallet address in and it tracks everything going on with that wallet. It is not a case of it has your keys or access in any way, shape or form. It strictly is a read only. So it's great for anyone who wants to, you know, have their wallet information on their mobile, but doesn't feel comfortable, you know, actually having their wallet on their mobile. So this just displays all the information of everything your address is attached to, the various dApps in the ecosystem you may be using. So let's take a quick look. So on the home screen, you can see um, straight away, you can actually see the redesign in the colors and icons and everything, adding a lot more detail on everything going on, which is in line with the icon ecosystem, which we've seen growing in dApps and, uh, and applications. So in the home screen here, you can see in my beautiful testnet wallet, I have a decent stash of ICX and it tells me in my currency and yes it has many currencies to choose from so you will be able to see your ICX tally in your uh, homeland uh, currency. Then you can see that at the moment through the transaction history it has various options and I'm going to click through those but what I love about the recent one is it as you can see now it tells you everything going on in your wallet so you can see that I'd done some governance re voted across different PREPs. I got, I got some icon bet divs, IAM dividends. You can see over here I was playing with balanced and I did a transfer and bought some SICX. Literally all the information that's happened in the last 24 hours it's it's aggregated for me in the recent and I can keep loading. I can load more and keep looking at that information. Then in daily, weekly, monthly, changes it up a little bit where it just tells you your ins and outs of what's going on in the wallet. Now remember, I'm looking at a preview version, so it may take a little bit longer to load than usual. So what's really cool about the rest of these tabs in the daily, the weekly, the monthly, as you can see, currently I'm on the daily, and we have daily deposits and withdrawals. but. If you actually click on this show details, it gives you a graph and then breaks it down based on what period you've picked. So based on dailies each day, this graph above is giving me what the average ICX income tally is versus what's in and coming out of the wallet. You can see it gives me a daily breakdown of the fees and every day the various dividends from different things that I've got going on in this wallet. So, and you can see the day before, in and out, obviously playing around with balance, trying a few things and vice versa. Now, if you go into the weekly, it will then start to give you similar figures, but aggregating per week. And as you can see, then it, it aggregates the fees that are spent in the week, etc. So quite a lot of handy information in the transaction history that is broken up from just recent individual transactions and then lumped into daily, weekly or monthly. And the monthly actually shows you a breakdown of the entire month with your ins and outs of the wallet, which is fantastic and quite useful. The next thing we can do is look at governance. So remember, it, it pulls in all the information. What's great about this tab is you can see what the going reward rate of the network is, and this is live. So we've got 11, over 11% 11 at the moment. You can see the unstaking period, which takes just over seven days. You can see the rest of the stuff, and along with the total amount of PREPs now on the ICON network, and it gives you the total tally for the tokens and you can see the PREPs in, in here I've voted for just to for the purpose of this video and uh, how much etc. The tokens now this has been completely revamped what is really awesome about uh, this is you don't have to manually ever add any tokens into the app if your wallet has a token it will be in this list and you can tick it on or off um, but for now you can see that this particular wallet has a lot of information here and what's really great about this is let's take a look at um, 
let's scroll through uh, and balanced okay so you can see that the balanced dollar this is BNUSD but right under it it's got a more and when you click more it will pull up a bit more information for you about that so right away under that token I can see that I in this wallet have got that much liquidity I've taken that much loan and this is what's sitting in my wallet so it's literally showing you per token what that token is doing and where it sits how brilliant is that so the balance token now this is a great one again it'll display similar kinds of information the balance I have available versus what I've got in rewards waiting to be claimed what I've got in liquidity pools and obviously what I have staked so and uh, and a part of the best part about this is the the information it displays a updated in the back end so as we see a lot more of the dApps update their APIs etc that's needed automatically this information will start getting aggregated into this metrics version 2 app which is fantastic and the final tab is settings so obviously here's where you know you can actually put the notify when staking rewards so push notifications so literally when you have anything happen in your wallet as long as you've got your push notifications enabled it will pop up as a notification telling you this is what's happened so you can see I often get um, push notifications of everything going on here which is great to see so that's a very quick summary I didn't want to take too much time you can see there's a lot baked into version 2 it goes granular specific around all the dApps you're going to be using and with the launch of many more dApps coming from OMM to uh, various others this is going to start filling up very quickly especially if it's your main wallet that you use to interact with everything once again Thank you to the Rhizome team and DevShack. They've done a fantastic job. Thank you for letting me preview the build. I'm very excited. I'm very excited, but they're even more excited to get this out to everyone because they do have a large user base off this app. The first version was very popular, and uh, I just foresee this being uh, a must-have for every iconist and anyone new to the icon ecosystem. It's a great way to get started. As always, thanks for watching. Share this clip subscribe like anything you can do to support everything I, I do and bring to the ecosystem as well will be very grateful take care everyone